How's it going everybody? Welcome to the video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the company KNDI. Now this is a Chinese company and this has the potential to be the next in NEO. As you can see over here, they produce their own cars and also they actually work with NEO too, similarly. So that is one of the great things that we're gonna be talking about in this video about this company. I'm also gonna be doing exactly what to expect for this company for the next few weeks, next few months to come because we have a great news that came out today that made the stock price to significantly go higher and it had a really great breakout to the upside. We're gonna go over exactly who owns the majority of the share of this company and what to expect for the future. So make sure you stay tuned. Now let's get right into the video. As you can see over here, we can see the stock is up 17.26% to the upside. And so far for the year, this stock has been performing very well. It's up more than 100%. And as you can see, the majority of the shares that this company owns is really not owned by institutions. You know, So as you can see over here, the majority of the shares outstanding right now is a close to 48.38 million shares. And the share outstanding is 54 million, so it's not a lot. So that's why you're seeing that the stock price significantly go up in a very short period of time. You know, It's up 17.26% and institution ownership and insider ownership as you can see over here it is close to two percent and above two percent so that is really great you know there's not a lot of institution ownership so for the future when this company gets really great numbers and if they're able to become profitable or if you see huge delivery numbers for this company the stock can definitely can go higher because we get and flying sub institution ownership. So at the current moment right now, it doesn't have a lot of institution ownership. And the major news that made the stock price to significantly go higher is that they're actually expanding in the US. You know, they have cars available for people to buy them. And if you buy their car, they're providing a tax incentive, you know. So Tesla is one of the major companies that was doing this kind of thing in the past. You know, they're still currently doing it in some states, I believe. But if you buy the vehicle right now, they're offering 2,500 state tax rebate if you live in Texas. So that is great for people that want to get involved or buy the vehicles. You know, they look like this. You know, even though their car not look doesn't like look attractive to be honest with you, but they have other models. You know, that actually look pretty well. And if you decide to buy these vehicles right now, you get a 2,500 tax rebate, and it's only going to apply for two thousand people so you have to be super early and the vehicles is going to cost you seventeen thousand four hundred and ninety nine dollars you know so with the tax rebate that is really great that's why you saw the stock price significantly go higher today and the stock actually had a really good decline you know a dip buying opportunity over here close to six dollars a few days ago it broke out of the eight dollar area and then retraced all the way down to six right now it's sitting at eleven dollars and three cents so what to expect for this company for the future you know so when you look at that you know the future is definitely going to be for ev companies you got a lot of expansion in china and also in the u.s you know so there are some states in the u.s they're implementing you know their vehicles to only be electric vehicle companies in the future they're passing legislative about that you know so that is one of the things that you need to take into account because the future is going to be for electric vehicle companies and this is also a company that produces electric vehicles and also supplies some equipment and some materials like battery materials for NEO too. So that is one of the great things that you want to be looking at. And uh, one of the things that we also going to be looking for is going to be what is the projection? What is it going to be the analyst expectation for this company? So right now their earnings report is going to be coming up pretty soon. So we might see some volatility for this company in the short term. But if you're going to be in it for the long term, definitely keep an eye on this stock and you can definitely buy and hold it it might potentially go to the 17 dollar 18 dollar area that i had over here within the next few days or the next few weeks or even a few years from now so definitely keep an eye on it just keep pretty watch list of these companies you know they've been breaking out significantly to the upside you know we saw that tesla stock you know joining the s&p 500 and we also have neo that is breaking out to the upside so a lot of people are getting attracted to the EV companies. So when you also look at some of the models, you know, one of the issues, you know, they have is like their models are not that attractive. You know, some of them are not that attractive, you know. So one of the models over here, they can the candy K23 right over here is a blue car. You know, it looks all right. When you actually look at this one, you know, this is all right too. But I like the major one like this one. I like this one, the, the KDI 30X SUV. This is actually looks pretty good. It's a decent vehicle right now when you look at it, but 
they can improve on it and if they can be able to improve on it people can actually buy it so we'll see more information the delivery numbers coming out pretty soon in the future so we might see the stock price to go higher and higher depending upon how it goes so if you're somebody that wants to get involved and buy this company let's look at exactly what is the ideal price points that you can use to get involved in it so as you can see over here we got neo stock you know it's recovering very very well you know it, it had an earnings report yesterday it had a dip over here but right now it's recovering it's only down minus 0.64 percent it was down close to like six percent this morning but let's talk about KNDI. so KNDI right now sitting at uh you know ten dollars and 94 cents so it's, it's retracing back over here so ideally you want to get involved in it if it comes back into the support area over here around like seven dollars seven to eight dollars over here it can come back if it can retrace all the way back over here this is ideal price point to get involved in it if you want to like swing trade it or a day trade it you can use this area and of course if you were somebody that want to get involved in it for the long term you know you can just buy it at any price point because eventually in the future hopefully the stock price continue to go up but for day traders or somebody that wants to swing trade get involved in this company you have to be super picky about what is going to be the ideal price point you want to get involved in it and where you want to sell it how long you're going to be holding it and things like that so ideally if it can come out to eight dollars that's really great and also we have another resistance price point over here that it broke out of which is nine dollars and fifty cents over here also over here and if it can come back and retest that price point that will be solid too so that is one of the price points that you want to be looking out for and also when you look at the multi-month breakout point over here which is around eleven dollars if it can stay above you know ten to eleven dollars ten ninety eleven dollars that's really great but right now it's really having a hard time to stay afloat the eleven dollar area it's breaking below eleven dollars staying above eleven dollars so definitely Keep an eye on it if it can stay above that price point that's going to be ideal to get involved in it so the other important thing that you want to be also be looking for is exactly what is going to be the majority of the buyers coming in from you know so there's a lot of volume that is coming in within the past few days that is a really great sign that there are a lot of buyers that are stepping in right now and even today the amount of shares that's been bought and sold is above 29 million you know shares you know so that is really great and the majority of the people are buying it aggressively because of that news that we talked about the tax rebate in texas and we get more positive news about this vehicles if other states like california or new york and things like that if they provide tax rebate for this company you might expect this stock to even go higher and higher too so just create a watch list you know keep an eye on it and if you're somebody that follows my main channel i have another channel you can guys follow and subscribe to the other channel we talked about this company a few months ago when it was trading around below like six dollars five dollars and then it went all the way to seventeen dollars and you know we retraced it gave back all of the gains and it was just consolidating around that five 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 dollars and we talked about that potential for the ev companies as for the future so if you're somebody that's like a long-term investor you can buy the dip right around over here when the stock prices just dip all the way over here you can aggressively start buying them and eventually you know you know positive news are about to come out of these ev companies because you know there's a lot of institutions that want to transition into getting involved in ev companies because you know there's a lot of legislation being passed you know china is also getting involved and want to really transform the way that they drive their vehicles over there because there's a lot of pollution in china in beijing air pollution so they want their vehicles to be electric so they can be able to reduce that so that's why the majority of the you know the laws and things like that that are being passed recently is that they're trying to convert you know their vehicles by 2025 or by 2030 to be majority electric vehicles you know so this is also a chinese company over there so we might see some potential not only for this company but for also for neo we got you know xpeng we got li and we have other companies that are also that are coming up that in china too that still have not ipo'd so when when these other companies when they release their vehicles you know i know they could be competing one against each other but there is a huge market for that the future is depending upon these ev companies so definitely create a watch list of all these companies that i talked about and keep an eye on this specific company so right now though if you want to buy it at this current moment in time it is really extended to the upside you can just wait for it to recover a little bit to the downside and you can buy it you can buy in for the long term and of course if you want to day trade and swing trade just be careful because it's overextended in the short term it had like three 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 days to the upside you know if you can count over here when it bounced up the support area six dollars it's up like one two three four five six seven days to the upside so 
be careful with it but definitely create a watch list of this company and we'll see how things are going to be turning out for the future for this company so if you have any questions any comments make sure you drop them in the comment section below make sure you subscribe to the channel too and i'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video have a wonderful day Thank you.